Welcome back to Furuno Connections. In this episode, we're going to start our product shootout with the multifunction displays, or MFDs. In particular, we're going to be looking at the user interface. And if I'm honest, Furuno's had a little bit of a black eye with the user interface. Going back four generations with Navnet 3D, it was a great system, but it was a little complicated to use. In fact, over the years, I've heard people say, Furuno has all the features I want, but it's just hard to use. Or you can do almost anything with Furuno, but you need the manual to be able to use it. Well, those days are long gone. With TC Touch 3, I guarantee this is the easiest MFD on the market to use. In fact, if you can use your cell phone, you can use TC Touch 3. So let's get going. We're going to take a look at the basic MFD functionality and just study the user interface right now and just see how refined it is compared to our competitors. One of the things I want you to focus on is just how many times I have to touch the screen and interact with the unit to get it to do what I want it to do. That's the beauty of TZ Touch 3 and the user interface. If I look at the screen right now, you can see we have the home button, an event mark button, or on the bottom left, we have the capability to switch unit from 3D to 2D. You can see our range. I can easily switch from north up to course up. And on the right hand side, I have a zoom in bar where I can either slide or press the plus or the minus keys. If I want to interact with the unit a little bit, one of the things we do is have edge swiping on this system. So if I swipe up, I can bring up my layers menu, swipe down, bring up a quick page to jump from different modes easily, or swipe out from the left and, and bring up my data boxes, or on the right hand side, I can bring up navigation functionality. And you can see here what, how it works. It's really easy. One of the things you should concentrate on as compared to our competitors is just how quickly and how many touches it requires to change the functions and make the machine do what you want it to do. The nice thing about the TZ Touch 3 user interface and how simple it is, is that it's super easy just to switch display modes with very minimal keystrokes and very little interaction with the unit. Let's take a look at how I can do that. Right now, I'm in my 3D sonar multi-beam history mode, but if I want to switch to a different display mode, there's two ways to do it. I can set up my quick pages, just like an old school radio bar, where I have easily, I can just touch one, screen to bring up, for example, my cross-section 3D mode, or touch the radar, touch my, uh, my fish finder, or my chart plotter. In this case, I'll just simply go back to the chart plotter and it's there right away. There's no waiting. The speed of the machine is super fast. In fact, it's as fast as you are. So it's super simple. If I want to bring up my home page, I can quickly go to a lot of the other screens that I've either made up or I can make up a new screen. It's super easy. One of the great things about the TZ Touch 3 UI is the ability to quickly change and build different display mode pages. To do that, I simply bring up my home page. You can see we always show a plus on the display. And if I want to build a new page, I would simply touch that plus and build a new page. The page builder uh, screen appears and I can either choose from a single screen or a dual screen a split three ways or with TZ Touch 3 we have the, the capability to go four different ways. Once I decide how many displays I want on a single screen I can then easily drop and drag whatever kind of display page I want in each corner. So for example I'm gonna bring in a, a, a chart plotter in my upper left page. I just drag it over. It's very simple. If I want a radar on the right side of the, uh, of the top page of the top I can do that as well. I might also want to bring in a data box page on the lower left or my 3D sounder uh, history mode as well. It's just that easy. Once I've decided that, I click the checkbox in the upper right. It saves that to memory and then automatically that page will appear. It's just that simple. Once that's built, I can go back into my home page and you'll see that that page appears. One of the great things about the TZ Touch 3 user interface is being able to easily customize and build pages and then assign them to a quick down swipe or an edge swipe down. In this case, I'm just going to swipe down from this, for example, quad page mode. And when I do that, it brings up my quick 
quick pages. So what's that, Eric? What's the six for? So for the in this case, the six would be something that's unassigned. And if I want to change assignment or add this screen to the assignment, I'd swipe down and say, okay, I want to make this page. This is a really nice page. I want to use it a lot. I'm going to make that one my number six. As you see right now, we're sitting at a chart plotter screen with a, some data on the right-hand side of the display. We'll press the home button and we'll just take a quick look at everything. Right now we're sitting on the chart page with our different chart options. Uh, we can have access to our favorites. These are just three we preset up. Smart modes, which system A builds in. Uh, combos we've set up, our chart screens, our sonar, our radar, and our audio video engages and things like that. So let's just go back up here and we'll choose a combo and we'll say combo number six. And now we're looking at a three-way split with some basic information. So now what I want to tell you about, Mike, is how we would build a combo screen and add it to our system. So what we can do is we can hit the home button. We'll go up here to combos and we'll hit menu and then choose add a combo. I want you to pay particular attention to how this is done because we're going to compare it on the front of sure. TZT3 next. So we'll do tap to add, and we bring up our information that's available so we can choose from charts, radar, graphs, gauges, and video. Okay. Let's throw a chart on the left-hand side of the screen. Okay, so we have a nav chart. And now we'll add radar to the right side of the yep. screen. Okay. And now we're all done. We'll just say done. And that combo is now built. So obviously when you head home, you've got your menu on the left. We have our custom display pages, which we'll talk about in a little bit uh, on the right. And then you've got all of your main, you know, hot pages in the center. So if we go under chart plotter first, here's our chart plotter layout. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about building a custom display. We went through the basics, the basic pages. Now, I don't, do you use the custom displays a lot? For sure, okay. when I wanna be quick with the, with the uh, the choosing of the pages. Mm -hmm. I just go to the custom ones that I've made and it, it gives me a short mm -hmm. uh, shortcut for okay. the ones that I want. Because you're a big guy about shortcuts. I remember of you told course, us that earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the custom pages, you can also set it up like if you want radar on one side and water mm -hmm. or sounder on the other, you can make that page and then you've got it every single time. So we've got a selection of ones that are already programmed in here, as basically quick ones, and we can make our own. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna add a new page and then, uh, go ahead, make us a new page, Manny. What do you want to see you can, on you your screen just, here? You can drag it on there. So there's radar. the 3D sonar, there's radar. We can add the chart plotter as well. We can even add one more if we want to and make it a four-way screen. So, you know, this one is actually a little, like, at least one step faster than TZ Touch 3 because in TZ Touch 3, there's actually an extra step here because you have to drag in the frame, how you want to split it first. Then you can put your you know, what you want in each box. With this one, you can just drag them in. So TZ Touch 3 has what we call edge swiping. So it allows you to access the menus from all sides, from mm -hmm. the top, bottom, sides, and the top. This has a little bit of edge swiping. It's just a single menu that comes down from the top that we can access that has the standby, the settings, power on and off, brilliance, and so forth. On system C, in order to get into different display modes, I have two different options. I can use the touch screen and I can simply touch on my chart and that's going to bring up my chart display mode. Um, I can go back home then I could touch on my radar and bring up my radar as well. Uh, the other way would be to use their hybrid touch system. Use the little keypad here, push in and bring up my chart. That's how we get to a couple different display modes on system C. We're gonna build a custom page here. What we can do is we can come over here to where we do not have a page already. We can touch and hold on the screen. And then from here, I'm going to decide how I want my screen split. Let's say I want to just do two applications. I want a chart and my radar. So I touch on each one. It's then gonna come over to my display. I hit next. I can now 
name it, a custom name if I want to, but it's already pre-named Chart Radar. I'm now going to hit Save. Okay. Now that page is there. Now when we look at System C, um, I can be on my chart plotter here, and the only edge swipe ability I have is I can edge swipe out from the left and I can bring up a data bar. So one of the great things that makes the user interface simple on the TZ Touch 3, uh, TZ Touch 3 MFDs is screen gestures. I have both a short tap and a long tap where I can touch the screen with two fingers and go into different modes. Right now I have the full screen configured so if I, double, if I double tap on any one of these four modes it will automatically go to full screen. Let's try it just on the chart plotter. So I touch it right here boom, I go to a full screen. If I go again, I can bring it back. It's just that simple on either the, any, any one of these pages or any one of these uh, settings, boom, touch it, bring it back and go back and forth. So Eric, I love that double tap feature. Does any of the other competitors have that feature? That's a great question. You know, we're the only ones who are leveraging those kinds of screen gestures that really add sophistication and ease of use to the user interface. And that helps you get to your favorite page super fast. With a single keystroke, exactly. It's super easy. Makes life easy. Okay, Mike, so as you see, you know, we set up our screens on the System A, we have a two-way screen, and on TZT3, we have a four-way screen. So I know one of the things you probably use fairly regularly is, uh, let's say, for instance, we want to get a full screen sure. radar. So on System A, we're just going to tap on it, and then you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, we get a full screen icon. So I'm going to tap on that. Now we go right to full screen. If we want to get back to our split screen, we simply tap back, and now we're back to our split screen. On the TZT3, we made it even easier. A single two-finger touch. Yep. So we want to bring up the chart plotter. Two-finger touch, Done. boom, full screen chart plotter. Want to go back to our full screen, or our, I'm sorry, four-way screen, two-finger touch again. Sure. And Mike, having all of this data at yeah. the touch of your fingertips, how does it make it easier for you as a captain to get to the information that you want and need at the touch of a finger? Um, you know, when I'm out there and, you know, say, say I'm running in rough seas and, um, you know, I got I got to scroll through this quick to get to certain certain modes that I need. Um, when it comes to just a one touch or two touch deal, I don't have to think about that. I don't have to take my eyes off the water for long. Uh -huh. um, I can pay attention to every everything that's going on in the boat. Uh -huh. um, it, it just I don't need to be scrolling through five six different settings to get the one thing. Okay, if I can hit one button or two fingers to bring up what I need right then. Um, that's going to make everything else that I'm doing on the boat successful. Absolutely. I don't have to worry about that. And I think that uh, makes a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. And it takes yeah. that right out the window. And exactly. It's smooth, simple, quick. Um, it, it's, it's like working your phone, man. So you're it's saying easier is better? Way better. Easier is better. <laughs> better and safer when it comes right. on the yeah, water. Absolutely. And safety is key. Yep. Yep. Definitely. On the systems that had the hybrid control keyboard, like the TZT-12F, each of them have a dedicated key that you can perform a long press to go to a full screen from the active split screen. For system C, this was the only way we found to switch to a full screen. All right guys, what a great first day. We, we covered the MFDs and how uh, they're laid out and, and the user interface of that. Uh, what did we learn? I mean, what are some good things? Eric, give me an idea of, of uh, what, what do you think is maybe the strongest user interface piece of TZ Touch 3? With TZ Touch 3, the edge swiping and the ability not to have to dive into menus and, and you can reduce your keystrokes to turn on and off common features, to me, I think that was one of the most powerful things I came away with today. Mike, what, what's your experience as far as like, uh, getting into the menus and stuff like that. So with what Eric was saying about the with the edge swiping or or the shortcuts, yeah, the shortcuts. you know, it, it's it I, it seems like TZT3 is easier to use in that respect because it's less going into menus. What's your experience with that? No, 100%. The, the edge swiping is where it's at. Um, you know, it's allowing me to 
get into this machine, touch it once or twice to be exactly where I need to be, and that's just gonna allow me to be able to concentrate on my fishing more. I don't wanna sit there and mess with the electronics so much and kill that time. I need, I need quick, I need easy, uh, I don't need to be thinking about it. And that, that's the, the huge benefit of that edge swiping is it takes all that out of that for you. You know, it just, it's right to the point. Let's keep grinding, keep fishing, and we know where I'm at on my screen the whole time. So I found that uh, moving around System C, you know, it, they, they've done a pretty good job on this user interface. Um, they have. The, uh, you know, the edge swipe on CZT3 is, is great. It's going to get you where you need to be. It's going to get you there very quick. Um, but I've, I've got to give a little bit of props to System C. You know, when you push that menu button, it's contextual to what page you're on. Right. Now, that's a pretty good way of doing it. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily think it's quite as fast as edge swiping or as easy, but uh, they did a good job with it. Okay. Captain Jack, what's your, what's your thoughts? You know what? I've always heard, like, Fruno's hard to operate and all this, but you know what? That TZT3, done. It's easy. It's easy as any of your other competitors, if not easier. You guys nailed it. Home run. All right, guys, so, you know, we talked about the display modes on each of the systems, on how to build the displays and customize that. Um, talk about just the flexibility in TC Touch 3 and how to build a display. And you know, you, the, the edge swiping, the drop down to show the hot pages and show how easy it is to, you know, reassign them now, uh, you know, that we just didn't have before. You just push on, you know, push and hold on the button that you want to change when you have the screen that you want, and boom, you can assign that as a hot page. You can also change them pretty quickly too. So if you're fishing for, you know, if you're doing a lot of navigating, getting to uh, certain locations in, at one day and then fishing the next day, it takes about three or four seconds to literally to, to change your hot pages over. And it's really simple to change now. Before it wasn't the case. Yeah, and that's, that's an interesting point is that we really, with TZ Touch 3, we took in that feedback from customers and dealers and try to, to kind of rework that interface to make it even easier than it is. I mean, we like to say that it's as easy to use as your cell phone. And actually, Captain Mike, you've said that several times that this is like working your cell phone. Yeah. Tim, how about you? How, what was your experience on the system you were on? Uh, system A was a little clunky on page setups. Uh, could be done. It wasn't terribly difficult to do. Uh, but when comparing it to TZT3, what we found is, you know, when you drag a page over, whether it be a full page split or a four-way split, you know, whatever you happen to be setting it up for, everything that's available for that page setup is on the right-hand side of the screen for you just drag over. It was a little bit different on System A. What you had to do was it brought up individual menus you had to open, and then inside of that menu, choose what you wanted to put in a, spe a specific spot on the screen. So it was doable, but it was just a little clunky. So just curious, uh, one of the, for one of the captains, Jack, what? How important is the, the custom page creations to what you do on a day in, day out basis and being able to not only customize them, but be able to put them as your favorites and access them? Well, down here in the Keys, you know, our fishing options are wide open. We can be fishing the reef one minute, sail fishing the next, going dolphin fishing offshore right after that. So being able to have all those pages set up is great so i can just have just you know the reef where i got my 3d unit i got my uh my 3kw you know straight underneath the boat i can see the the yellow tails balled up over here there i can put that in that page with the gps uh at, at the same thing so i got my bottom machine there my gps on the other but and and then i want and then when i want to switch to offshore then i can switch to like you know my, my gps and then my radar on there so then i can go find the birds and stuff like that so by just having them already pre-set up and I can flick down and pick which one I want to use and have it all set, just, you know, it saves time. Well, with our first few tests of the different user interfaces under our belt, hopefully you were able to see how TC Touch 3 stacks up. This matrix breaks down just how many touches were required to do the exact same functions on all four systems. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the little bell below for notifications the next time we upload a video. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon.